Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a few more tricks with the Echo. Um, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, uh, a few Kong pads um, triggered, so I'll have a pattern um, laid down and then I'm going to send the snare drum through the Echo. So let's get started. We have a, an empty combinator template here with the 6-2 mixer. Uh, it's a basic setup. It uh, on the back the main master outs are going to the uh, device input and then the combinator output is going to a mix channel. So underneath here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Kong drum designer. Um, now the initialized patch is fine it just creates a basic uh, kit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these first four drums. So um, underneath this I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to create a redrum or a red rum, depending on how you want to say it. Uh, inside the pattern, I'm just going to create a quick pattern. Uh, I already have one that I saved, and it's not going to run because we haven't set anything up. So what we'll do is, on the back, we'll flip around and we'll basically trigger the first four pads on the first four channels of the redrum. Okay. So now, if you listen to it, That's what it sounds like. Now, what we're also going to do is underneath here, or actually before I do that, let's go to the snare drum. That's this one right there. Let's go down here. Let's send this to output three and four down in the drum output. And what this is going to do is it's going to be able to process. You're going to have to send your outputs from three and four here. So what we'll do is underneath here, we'll hold down shift again, and we'll create a pulverizer. And underneath that, we will create an echo. Okay. Uh, main inputs, yes. Okay, so now we'll just connect up um, output three and four from the Kong and send that into the pulverizer pulverizer is going to send it into the echo and the echo is going to get sent back out to a separate channel on our mixer here. Okay, now if you flip it around what's going to happen is you will hear the snare drum being sent through the pulverizer and the echo. So let's run it again. snare drum. If you want to hear how it sounds normally, specific drum to be processed through the pulverizer and the echo and then sent back out to its own channel so you can separate your drums out this way if you want you have a bunch of different outputs that you can process in different ways through different echoes and different pulverizers and um, you can create some really interesting um, drum effects and with these new effects the pulverizer is just great at adding a lot of beef to your drums and the echo of course is great for adding some delays and um, some interesting other sounds so I hope you find this interesting. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks for watching.